All right, here's a here's a fly I'm going to be fishing this season. It's a green drake spinner. Um, it's a but it's a parachute spinner. I'm not sure if you see many people do this style. I don't really know of any fly like this, but um, but I, I think it's cool. It's it's very very easy to do. But you don't clip it. I mean, if this was a smaller fly, you would you would cut this and you'd cut that that side. But you could totally do it. But in this case, it being such a big fly, you need all that hackle. Uh, so all you're doing is just putting a little drop of UV on one side and a drop of UV on the other side, and 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 you're keeping all those 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 barbs. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to tie it. This hook I'm using. It's, it's a big hook. It's a monster. It's a uh, it's a 1280 Daiichi. This is a size eight. So this is a 1280, which means it's a 2x long. So it's a it's a really big hook, but uh, yeah, it's a big fly, right? Um, this thread I'm actually using 6O, and the reason I'm using 6 o is uh, just for coverage purposes. It just makes it go faster. I rarely ever use 6O, and you don't need 6O for any reason other than coverage. So the tail I'm going. You know, it's a, a pretty classic tail material for for big flies. It's just black bear, right? And this is a really good, this is a really good tail material. And there's a lot of fluff in this stuff, but in reality, you don't. Uh, I mean, look at the wow! I got it here. Look at how thick that is. That's why people say when you. Try and shoot a bear or something. If a bear's coming at you, or you're hunting a bear, you gotta you you can't you can't shoot it with a 22 or a, or a eight shot, right? Because it'll just bounce right off. That's why that stuff's like steel. How thick that is. And all I do is I cut off a good clump. This is actually way too much. But what I do is is that I just bring come to the end here, hold it, and then now you could put that actually on your on your desk there and um, it's good for another one but all that is it was just the short ones but they're, they're still long enough for tails so there's one right here and there's one right here that's too long I mean you could stack them but it's kind of not worth it you pull it out and then and reuse the pull outs it's, it works great and then we'll cut this So leave some some room because you're you're actually doing a parachute, so you need some need some space up there. Now I just I tie this in pretty tight. This stuff can be like bucktail a little bit. I mean, it's a lot thinner than bucktail, but it is pretty slippery. And the way back here, we're going to tie in just a piece of black floss yeah and then right back and make sure you got it yeah that's good now dubbing uh, dubbing I use I use Pretty much just just hairs ear. This this white hairs ear, and you could use a dry fly dubbing. This is, I wouldn't call this a dry fly dubbing, but um, you can use a dry fly dubbing. I just I just have so much of this because this is what I use on on my uh, my spinning banshee coffin. And then we'll. Put this up. And I think that's good. I always go back and tighten it up. Because when you pull when you when you rip that stuff off, it um it it becomes loose. And you gotta go back like three turns or two turns or something. Now this black floss, this is just one strand of this four strand Danville. 
You could actually just leave the cutoff, I'm um, sorry, the waste piece of the thread if you're using 6 -0. You can just use that actually. But, I don't know, I do it a little bit traditionally just for fun. But yeah, it doesn't matter. The 6 -0 thread worked totally fine. Catch this. Then you need you need a decent amount of room. This actually I need a decent amount of room, but I actually think that might be just a hair too much. Now, that's not a big deal. I can just go back in and just cover that. Now for the post, the post I just use a poly yarn. Now if it was a smaller fly, I'd probably use a, a CDC feather. But uh, but but poly is, is 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 good. This is just a two inch piece, and I do what is that one two three something like that three. This looks like it's got to go back. You can you can yank it back. Just take the weight off of it. Yeah, the the bobbin makes it um, like basically unmovable. But if you take the weight off the bobbin, it, it's you can you can easily pick it up, even with tight turns. So now I'm just putting on a few turns here, just to keep it upright, and then I'm going to go back down. And I tie off, and you can actually go back this way, just one or two. And I do that just so that I can get my hackle and get it ready and 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 and, and post it more easily. Because I, I post the stem of the hackle up. I just want this to stay up top while I'm working with it. Now the hackle here I'm using is just this. This is a whiting cocktail, but this is not the tailing pack. This is like a whole big, you know, cape. And when you get one of these, I mean, I believe there's a lot of badger. Like, you're going to find a lot of badger ones, which I like. These, this, you know, white with their cream with the black center. Those work great. But, I don't know, I, I, I just want the modeling. See how this, this, this speckled look? That's what I really want. Now, one feather is not going to be enough. One feather is not going to be enough. You need, you need two. So, it can... That can be a little annoying doing two feathers on a on a uh, parachute, but you just you just keep on turning and and it'll it'll look right in the end. You now I take them, you try and get uh, them the same length, so that whatever you pick, whatever you choose, just make sure they're lined up. And a little bit of this black, see the soft stuff. That actually isn't that bad. I don't, I don't mind that because if you look at one of those wings on the on the coffin or the, whatever you want to call it, green drake spinner, there is a lot of black in there. That's why I take the modeled ones. But a little bit of the soft stuff, it's not it's not a big deal. It's not it's not obviously not going to float, but it's you're going to make up with it with all the other barbs. Now let's take off most of this. I'm just leaving maybe a quarter inch. And I have the inside of the feather facing me. I tie it on here, put a few turns in, and then go behind it. And then I'm just going to try and keep it, try and keep them together, you know, facing the same way. That's what we got. Obviously, it's, it's off camera here. And now, uh, UV works on the posts, but you can just use super glue. It's, uh, it's cheaper. It's a lot cheaper. I put that super glue on there to keep it, um, it, it, it really stiffens it up. And when you're, when you're pulling two of these, you can see already that it's pretty stiff. You could, 
you could definitely wind this on now. Um, but yeah, I like to make sure that the post stays stiff. Usually I use UV, but um, super glue is just cheaper. Works the same way. You just gotta wait a, you know, 10 seconds or so. And if, I mean, if you don't want to wait 10 seconds or 15 seconds, then yeah, use UV. Now we got both together. That's what we're doing. We're, we're, we're turning them both together. And we are going to actually I've got these hackle pliers right here. I'm going to use them. And we're going to basically use up everything here. So this is a, a lot of turns, but you need a lot of turns. And let me just see something here. I'm just looking at the top. Now, one thing I'll say is that when you get to the tips part, it's going to be shorter. Yeah, you know, that that the, the fibers are going to be shorter. Now, if you see, I'm sorry, I should have said this, but I'm tying off on the post. If you saw my last um, uh, video where I do a um, where I do a parachute, I've been tying them off on the post. It's just the way I've been doing it. Now, the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a whip finish in. I'm just going to try and make sure that these most of these fibers are up. Now, I'm going to use some black hairs here. So this is the one I got here. This is the bag for the... Oh, yeah. Let's see. This is the bag for the other one. Hairline. Just hairline white. This is just a Wopsy black. Somebody on Instagram saw the last one I did and asked, why, why don't I put the dubbing on? He says he puts the dubbing on first. It's easier. It is easier to put the dubbing on first, meaning you, you dub this whole thing and then you turn the hackle. The problem is, is that I tie off on the post and I do the whip finish on the post. So I like to cover up those turns with the dubbing. And so if you put the dubbing on first, you can't do that. So that's the only reason I do it afterwards. If you don't care about that part, then yeah, put it on first. It is a lot easier. But, but I like it. I like it afterwards. It's a little, you know, it's more work, but I think it's neater. That's the way I feel about it. Now, I'm going to just, I want to make sure that I cover up the thorax on the bottom. So I'm just going to take a look. Yeah. And then I'm going to go forward here. I think I need just a little bit more. Now, I mean, covering it up is not a big deal. I mean, if there's a little part of, of, of white showing, it's not, it's not ridiculous. I mean, you just hit it with a black marker and you can't see it, just to make it neater. But, but I'll just try and make it as neat as possible. Now all I'm doing is just bringing the thread forward. Give this one more look. Yeah, so that's good. And now we can just hit this with some super glue. And we'll whip finish again. And obviously this is the second whip finish. Looks like there's a little something or other there. Just part of the dubbing. And that's it. Now Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about. I mean, obviously, it's a it's a humongous parachute right now. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, if you know all the fibers are going in strange directions, don't worry about it, because in the end, it's really all going to work out. Something was caught there. I just pulled it out. So, what you should also do is. One of the things I don't like about poly 
is, is that it really can be a mess. It can be a total mess. One, one way to avoid it being a mess, you know, for temporary purposes, you're just you're going to be cutting this off anyway. But if you can, if you just hit it with some super glue here. And then just quickly run your fingers through it. And now, now we're going to get this, this, uh, this wing in like the spent position. So, like this. And it's really easy. All I do is I kind of just, I just put the, put the hook in like that. Now the first part of this isn't as as, as important as the second part, and I'll show you why. Because you, you want the fibers to be even, right? Well, um, you can, you, what you're going to do is you're going to, you're pushing all this stuff to the side, you're kind of making a little bit of a space. And you have your UV. And all we're doing here is we're putting a drop. I mean an absolute tiny drop. Then, this is what I do. I have my light here. I turn the light on and I put it in my mouth. And I keep those those hackles spread while it dries. And you really only need to do it for a second. Now there is something here. That's good. Now this first one doesn't matter as much. The middle meaning the you know the, the, the middle part of it. But this one does, because this is where you really decide you know, how even it's gonna be. And you, you want it to be even, for sure, I think. Or or very close to even. This is going to be tough to see. This is going to be tough to see. But let me see if I can get you some sort of view here. Alright, so I, I, I make the space and I and I look at it and I make sure, I double check that the hackle's fairly even. If not, I just, I just pull some from the other side. Yeah. And now again, just drop a little bit on there, turn my light on, put it in my mouth. And it really only takes a, just a second or two for it to, for these hackles to stay in position and then you can let it go. one, you know, one or two that are sometimes those smaller ones from the tip of the of the feather. They can go all wacky ways. And there's some right here. Same thing. And now let's take a look. Obviously the post still needs to be cut. <laughs> I'm not gonna leave the post like that, but I'm just making sure. You can give it a little, little, little squeeze, and we'll cut this post. Definitely, when you do that whole super glue thing, make sure it's above the part that you're gonna, uh, that where you're gonna cut it off. So, so now, and that thing shot off. So now we can just open it up a little bit. There's one fiber here that seems to be. Yeah. And any of these, like, fi if you have a fiber that you just don't like, just get rid of it. Don't try and definitely don't say, oh, there's two fibers in here not, not, um, you know, in the wing, in the spent wing. So I'm going to try and glue it again. Don't do that because too much glue is bad. Uh, it, 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 um, you might even be able to see a little bit of the glue on camera when you're close. Now I can't see it in person, but 
Um, but yeah, I mean, it reflects some light, so you might see it on the camera. But if you put too much on, you will absolutely see it. So you don't want to do that. And you'd think these hackles, these Coctelion hackles, that, that whole cape would be expensive. It's not. I mean, it is, it's dirt cheap. And the reason it's cheap is because, um, and even from whiting, it's, it's dirt cheap. It's because it's useless. Uh, the, the feathers are practically, they're beautiful, but they're useless. I mean, you can use them for tails and maybe in some streamers or something, but uh, the only dry fly you can use it for is a hex, which is essentially a green drake, right? Which is just a hair bigger, and, and the green drake. I mean, that's really it. So, so you can pick up one of those for 20 bucks, those, those capes. Probably on eBay, 20 bucks, maybe 25 bucks. That's it. You can tie a million of these things. <laughs> and you can even use some of those, those, um, those badger ones that are in there. Totally. Use, use like one of, of these speckled ones and a badger one. That's great. And I bet you if you just wanted to use the badger, you could use a single badger because those things are longer. Um, and you'll be in good shape. And how, 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 uh, how long is this? You can see here I got it at maybe an inch and three quarter or something like that, right? Yeah, it's probably about an inch and three quarter. So it's a big fly. But I mean, the Green Drake Spinner is a massive fly, huge. So that's why we use such a big hook and big wings. So that's it. All right, Green Drake Spinner, Parachute Spinner. All right, thanks.